So you're having trouble with Illustrator. Well, I'm here to help you out. Yeah. Hello everyone, Dave Hahn here. I'm going to talk to you about some common problems that happen when um, using Illustrator. Many students uh, sometimes will occasionally see this building pop up on their screen and they don't know how to get rid of it. This is called a perspective grid. To get rid of that, you go to View, Perspective Grid, Hide Grid, and it goes away. What happened was instead of hitting this uh, uh, live paint bucket, you may have accidentally hit the, uh, the uh, perspective grid. So view, perspective grid, hide grid. Uh, another common problem that happens is uh, when using the pen tool, sometimes um, you see this happen and for some reason it won't let you click on anything. To solve that, you have to go over here to your layer panel, open your layer panel and make sure the layer you're drawing on doesn't have a lock button on it or some other problem. You can always just create a uh, new layer right here, and that new layer you, you will be able to uh, draw on there. Uh, another problem that often happens is your edges aren't showing. So you grab your direct select tool and you click on your object and you don't see any transformation handles or anchors. Uh, to solve that, you should always, and you should always do this with every file, make sure your edges are showing. View, show edges. If, if it says here show edges, then click it. And then you can see your transformation handles. You can uh, hold the space bar down and move anchors by holding the handle, or you can change the direction and amplitude of this curve uh, just by grabbing the handle. Space bar moves the anchor. You can move any anchor you want by uh, double clicking on that anchor and moving that. And then you can grab the handles here and change the curve. Another problem that happens is while you're using your pen tool, uh, sometimes you see your pen tool disappear and it becomes like a little X. This is called a precision mode for your pen tool. This You hit your cap locks key when that happened. So hit the cap caps button and you can toggle between those two um, functions of the pen tool. Another problem that can happen is uh, you don't see the right tools. Maybe you are in uh, different kind of workspace layout so you don't see your swatch panel here. Always come up here, Windows, Workspace, Essentials Classic is the workspace we're working in. Uh, if let's say your swatch panel is missing like it is here, you can always go to Windows, Workspace and hit Reset Essentials Classic and then you'll see your uh, swatch panel show back up. Another issue that happens uh, for students is they stop seeing their drop-down uh, menus here. Uh, if you have your program window minimized so you can see other windows like your browser or a chat client or uh, Netflix or something, when you, uh, especially on uh, Apple-based um, products or tablets, when you resize your window, uh, it, they, they'll sacrifice tools and menus will disappear. All you have to do is hit the uh, full screen mode, maximize mode to see all your tools. They will pop up again. Another problem that happens is sometimes everything, uh, your tools will disappear and if that happens you maybe you hit your tab key. Tab key toggles between uh, client view mode and your work mode. Another common problem is when students come in to trace their picture and they'll start tracing here and they'll try to change their properties of their pen line so uh, and they don't see any properties up here the reason why you don't see that is uh, this object is not selected so you grab your selection tool select your object and then you'll see all your properties over here another problem is let's say I, I see I have a white fill uh, some students may notice all their colors are gone the reason why their colors are not visible is because they opened a JPEG or a photograph directly into Illustrator. This is a pixel-based uh, raster image, so there's no color. There's no Illustrator color data here. If I open my swatch panel, you'll see there's no color. So what you need to do here is take, uh, grab your selection tool, and take this photograph here, and um, you need to drop it into an artboard. If I take this picture and I um, copy it. Then go to my artboard here and paste it in. You'll see now I have my photograph here and I have all the colors. So I'll be able to, uh, this black box right here is the outline of our artboard. So of course we need to resize this. Make sure when you're resizing an illustrator, you hold the shift key down 
so you can get a symmetrical uh, scale that's not uh, skewed in any way. And then if you zoom in here on this raster image, you grab your pen tool, you'll notice here if I click on the properties here, I have a white fill, I can say no fill, and then I can choose the color for my outline. Uh, make it any color I, I'd like. So if you have any more questions you'd like me to illustrate, go ahead and uh, send me an email or uh, hit me up in Slack and I'll make another video. Alright, good luck everyone.